So here we go again, just bought another digital download of a Konami compilation of some retro games. I bought the uh, previous one, the Castlevania collection. I was so impressed with that. It was like, you know what? I got to jump on this Contra Anniversary collection. Just released today, 20 bucks on the Nintendo Switch, or at least that's the version I'm looking at. And yeah, with M2 doing the emulation, doing all the stuff for this, you know it's a special package. When you load the game up and you get that M2 logo splash screen in your face, you know you're in for some quality entertainment, right? So with them just announcing the new Contra game, Contra Rogue Core, I, I'm definitely hyped for that. And that was one of the reasons I wanted to jump into this was like, you know what? The hype is real. Let me get this anniversary collection as well. Um, and, you know, we did talk about that previously where there was like a German retailer who leaked that there was an, a Contra game coming out. But some people thought it was the physical version of this collection, which unfortunately, no. But fortunately, yes, September 24th, we're getting a brand new Contra. Looks pretty sweet. You could play as like a panda bear or something. I know it's not the same style as these older games, but it still looks pretty damn neat. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Uh, not so much a review, more of an overview and experience. Let's see what this includes, what the little extras are. Maybe take a look at some gameplay in a few games. But first up, let's see what games are included. So we got Contra from the arcade, 1987. Super Contra, also the arcade version uh, from 1988. And then Contra NES, the one that most of us are more familiar with. Love the game. Definitely a good thing it's on here. Why wouldn't it be, right? And then we do get the Famicom version. I have to check that out, right? Super C for the NES. Contra 3, The Alien Wars for the Super Nintendo, 92. Operation C for the Game Boy, 91. Contra Hardcore, 94. Sega Genesis also being released on the Genesis Mini. And then we also get Super... Probotector Alien Rebels for the, which is the super, for the Super Nintendo but it's the European version of uh, Contra 3 the Alien Wars. It's, you know, going to have some differences. You're playing as robots instead. Never played these versions, so definitely looking forward to checking them out. Uh, then we also get Probotector, the European Mega Drive version of Hardcore. So that's cool to see that there. There's 10 games included. You know, if you minus out Super Probotector and, and Probotector, it, it's like, okay, there's eight games. But I still think, you know what, I'm counting those two. They're different enough. It's, it's a unique experience. You know, I've never played them as robots before, so screw it. I'm counting them. They're in. Ten games total, and we get this awesome bonus book. I'm really hoping that Konami will do a physical edition of all these, man. Just combine all the releases together. Get the Castlevania collection, this collection, the arcade collection. It would be cool if there was just like one nice bundle and it all came with all the books, like printed, actual physical books, because these these bonus books are legit. Before we jump into some gameplay, let's take a look at that. So I was really impressed with the Castlevania one. So here she is. Let's see if we'll, we'll take a look at the first few pages and then skip around some sections, because there is over 70 pages to this little bonus book. So featured titles, you're going to have all the, the controls and everything listed there. Uh, interviews with key figures, Nobuya Nakazato and Tom Dubois. Contra research reports with a timeline, weapons, all sorts of cool stuff. Exclusive materials for the games. So let's go ahead and take a peek at some of this stuff. So I know we can, yeah, we can like zoom in if you really wanted to. If you can't read that small print... You can you can zoom in and out, so that's that's kind of nice, and then just move around. But yeah, you're gonna get the uh, the controls and a little snippet for each game in the beginning here. The controls show the Joy Cons, but as long as you're you know if you're playing with the Pro controller, the buttons are essentially the same. Um, but there you go. I guess you know a lot of times they use the Joy Cons as the visual because all the systems come with them, as far as all the systems that have been released so far, right? So there's that. I think we can jump into the menu. Yeah, if you click the thumbstick, you could switch around content instead of scrolling through the whole book. So interview with key figures. Pretty cool stuff. First encounters with Konami and Contra. Uh, his development of Contra 3. Concept for Contra 3. First, there's a lot of cool stuff, man. I really wish I could sit here and read all this. Uh, but that would not be a very interesting video, I think. But definitely a lot of interesting information. I'm going to go back and look through this stuff later. But there's that. Contra Research Reports. Take a look. 
that's cool. You get the timeline when, you know, in the game's timeline when all these games took place, what the events were, what the characters you play as are, um, the spin-offs. That's pretty cool. Contra Rebirth. Let's let's uh let's let's zoom in up there. What does that say? The WiiWare exclusive installment takes place in the year 2633 of the Kantora era, which is a separate timeline from the installments that take place in the common era. Playable characters include a non-canical version of Bill Riser. So there you go. Pretty cool, man. Definitely want to take a peek through all that. Uh, talking about weapons, the play styles, which that's pretty cool. Top-down perspective, high-speed scrolling. Yeah, definitely a lot of these games swapped around with play style. And I know with the new one, it's a top-down, you know, over-the-head type view, but it still looks looks pretty damn sweet. We got some artwork. Always love looking through this stuff. But let's switch to... Uh, Oh, are we already in exclusive material? Yeah, we are. So there's a lot of stuff in the exclusive material. If this is floating through to from like page 40 something all the way up to 70 something, that's really cool. A lot of little diagrams and artwork. So definitely worth, you know, checking this out. I, I'm digging this little book, but let's take a look at a couple games real quick. I mean, screw it. Why not? Let's jump in the Super Probotector Alien Rebels. Start game where you can watch your replay. Uh, original 50 hertz or turbo 60 hertz. Oh crap. If you select turbo, the game will play at the same speed as the Japanese and North American versions. Be aware that each version uses its own save data. Okay. Well, I'm going turbo, baby. Let's do it. I'm sweating. It's like 100 degrees today, my guys and girls. If there's any of you guys watching, the females make up less than 3% of my audience. That's okay. But, you know, we do need to have a diverse audience, so let's let's bring it. All right, let's jump into this. The sound is good. I mean, I can't complain. I think you hit the uh, ZL button to bring up this option here. Save your replay so you can rewatch it. Save state, load state. Uh, you can pull up the controls, see what the controls are. Uh, display settings. Original pixel perfect. You can stretch this bad boy out. Not judging you. Do what you got to do. We got scan lines, pixel perfect scan lines, and the 16 by 9 scan lines. Let's put the 4 by 3 scan lines on. Take a look at that. Different frames. You could have nothing. You can have some contra goodness. Oops. You can have some flames. I'm going to go with the flames. And you could reset all that good stuff. So this is what it looks like. I don't know what the video compression, all that good stuff uh, on YouTube, if you're going to, if the um, scan lines are going to come through very well, but. There's that. Scan lines on my end, what I'm looking at, don't look too bad, but at the same time, I'm not a fan of scan lines on uh, modern displays, but to each their own, right? Let's, uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, this is sounding and looking good. Let's turn off the scan lines. So I always, you know, on modern displays, it just kind of darkens the visuals for me. I'm not a huge fan of that. Some people are fine with it, but um, me, I don't really care for it. Let's just go to original. There we go. Looking looking better already, in my opinion. Oh, man. Walked right into him. So everybody's robots here. You know, we can't have violence against uh, human beings. You know, don't, uh, but don't robot probotectors lives matter too, right? I guess not. Oh, son of a biatch. I always hated the laser, man. Oh, but that little beast alien killed me. I should have popped the cap in his ass. Well, I'm sucking at this. It doesn't matter, though, because that's we're not really here to, to really, really play some games. We're just here to test some stuff out. Let me just check out Probotector. Same thing. You got the original and Turbo. I can never focus when I'm recording a video. I can't, I can't focus. I got to play the game separately and then interlay it over my, my my video, but I'm not doing that today. I'm just testing these out for you guys. See what they look like. Oh, we got somebody. Oh, this guy, whoever this guy is on my friends list, he's up on the Contra collection too. That's what I'm talking about. Great minds think alike. So let's jump into that. Oh yeah. I think um, on the US version, you could still play as a robot, but you have like, you know, a few different options. This just doesn't have a you know, a human, even though, like, 
you kind of get that humanoid look when you're swapping, when it's morphing. But hey, whatever, right? Because I believe, what what is it, on the US version you have a, a female character, a male, like a female human, a male human, then that beast character and a robot. But let's jump into this. Let's see what this looks like. Robots. Instead of, uh, you know, everything else. There we go. So I'm, I don't know if there's any other, like, major differences. Try not to embarrass myself as much this time. I'm trying to actually pay attention. But, you know, we, we know these games are classics. Crap! And as long as they're emulated well, and the little bonus features are good, and, you know, you got all these awesome options, save state let me let me save this save your current progress yes please quick save data has been created let's get back into it oops mm. sucking sucking here whatever let's get out of that let's exit the game test something else out let's let's try out uh the arcade version why not normal easy heart uh, we're just going with normal today there we go. Yeah, it's a vertical game. I wonder if we have bezels for this. We should, right? Yeah, let's get those frame, th those uh, flames up there. Actually, I think this one might be pretty cool. And I think on this one, if you hit L, yeah, the L button, you could swap between turbo. Like no turbo, you see the little icon in the upper left, which is pretty cool. And then select, inserts coins. Almost jumped right into these guys, man. I haven't played this one as much as, you know, all the other versions of the game, but this is still pretty cool. It's just, I think whenever I loaded this up and the, you know, it being a vertical game, I was like, is this a horizontal shooter or, or vertical shooter or whatever? I'm getting my directions mixed up, my bad. Very very clean and crisp getting killed here but that's okay you know input lag i know people are always oh, how's the input lag everything's feeling fine to me guys oh crap i'm curious i'm curious i want to see the game boy game before we go i want to see how that looks we'll probably stream this sometime i've been trying to stream more lately but you know life happens Oh yeah, Game Boy, we get the same thing. Original, pixel perfect, or dot matrix. You can have a little color filter, uh, scan lines, all that good stuff. Let's check this out real quick. Oh man. Chunky ass pixels, right? Oh crap. This, you know, for a Game Boy game and, and, you know, not exactly crazy early of a Game Boy game. What was it, 91? This game is very smooth, man. Like, there was a lot of action Game Boy games, you know, similar to this that were just sluggish, man. Didn't even feel that great. Like, so, even some of the, the other Konami games weren't that, weren't as fluid as this game. Or as smooth, anyway. I don't know how to say it, but I'm sure some people will know what I'm talking about. Crap! Okay, one more before we go. You know what, Contra Famicom? I don't care, let's do it. Let's take a look. Display settings, all the same stuff. Frame. Let's get that frame up in there. And it's nice when you go in there and you come back out. It gives you a second, like, are you ready? Okay, let's get into this, right? Area 1, jungle. I'm not sure what the, uh... The differences in this game are going to be. But there's got to be, there's got to be, a, I mean, I'm not well versed in the history of Contra. Maybe I need to read the book. But, um, there's got to be, so, you know, something decently different for this to be on here, right? Maybe the uh, difficulty or something. 
Maybe some different levels, maybe some censorship issues. I don't know. Somebody let me know down in the comments below. But I'll probably find out anyway. Take a look at it. Son of a bitch! But there you go, my friends. Yeah, I was sucking at it a little bit, but that's not the point. Just wanted to check these games out. Do I think it's worth it for $20? Hells yes. Do I wish it was physical? I would have paid an extra $10 for a physical release. But who knows if that'll ever happen. Will I double dip if it does? Um, for this in the Castlevania collection, yes, I would. Yes, I would. If they doubled it up and it was like 40 bucks for both of them, I'd be down with that. Give me the little booklets. I don't care. I don't even care if they're hardbound. If they're just like old school manuals, but thick, just the way we likes it. Hell yeah, I'm all down into it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm getting tired here, man. I haven't had much sleep. But I am enjoying this. Definitely recommend checking it out. 20 bucks can't beat it. Really do appreciate you guys. With that said, I will catch y'all next time. Thumbs up. Peace out. Bye-bye. Send boom. Bye.